Hello everyone. Uh, a lot has happened in the last 24 hours, so I'm just going to give a quick update. Within just a few hours of the announcement of the new independent third party yesterday during Sunday church service, the name and phone number of the lead investigator was leaked by someone associated with the advocate group. As such, to avoid confusion, we are confirming that Rosalie McNamara of Lathrop LLP is the lead investigator. Any information pertaining to potential sexual misconduct by Mike Bickle should be directed to Ms. McNamara. Her contact information has been posted on IHOPKC socials and website. Secondly, and unfortunately, a few hours ago, the attorney representing the main alleged victim and who purportedly represents the advocate group communicated that they are not willing to participate in the independent investigation. This is the third time that IHOPKC has introduced a third party to investigate, and this is the third time that the advocate group has rejected the investigation. We sincerely appeal for them to reconsider. These investigators are professional, they are honest, and they are bound by ethics. And it's, it's puzzling, to be honest. If this is a matter of alleged victims feeling unsafe, there are many ways for their attorney to ensure their safety. For example, they can start with the first simple step of providing sworn affidavits of the Jane Doe's. IHOPKC is committed to finding the truth regarding these allegations, but is at a crossroads until the advocate group either presents evidence or alleged victims are willing to participate. This community is hurting and respectfully, any further delays are on the advocate group. I say that respectfully. Lastly, and I'm gonna keep mentioning this, I know this kind of message is uncomfortable and it's new for this community, but IHOPKC has made a pledge to keep you all informed as possible. Please keep praying, it's needed now more than ever.